It's pretty common around the all-time highs that, you know, people take some chips off the table. We're seeing long-term wallet addresses taking some chips off the table. It's pretty common yeah. ahead of the halving. Then it normally goes into what I refer to as the banana zone. And that's when you get the real <laughs> price action. So the real price action hasn't happened yet. The really important thing is crypto right now is $2.7 trillion industry. It'll probably finish this cycle at 10 to $15 trillion. And by 2030 or so, it'll be $100 trillion, right? This is the largest, fastest accumulation of wealth in all human history. In the rapidly evolving landscape of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is on the brink of entering what could be its most unpredictable and potentially lucrative phase yet, dubbed the banana zone by Raul Paul, CEO and co-founder of Real Vision. Despite the recent trend of investors pulling back, a move interpreted by some as caution in the face of soaring highs, Paul's insights suggest that the true volatility and price surges are still on the horizon. This sentiment shared during a revealing discussion with Howard Lindzen underscores a broader conviction that the crypto market is gearing up for an unprecedented rally. Paul's analysis points to a common pitfall among the crypto enthusiasts and investors alike. A hesitancy or inability to commit, often leading to missed opportunities or misplaced investments in the vast sea of available tokens. His advice? Focus on the giants within the crypto space and adopt a long-term mindset. By concentrating on established cryptocurrencies, investors can navigate this next cycle with a strategy designed to maximize potential gains. But why is this period being heralded as the banana zone? It's a combination of market dynamics, investor sentiment, and technological advancements within the blockchain ecosystem that are converging to create conditions ripe for explosive growth. Paul's confidence in Bitcoin reaching new all-time highs is not unfounded. Historical trends coupled with increasing institutional interest and broader mainstream acceptance signal a maturation of the market that could propel Bitcoin and other leading cryptocurrencies to unprecedented levels. What makes this upcoming phase particularly fascinating is the blend of uncertainty and opportunity for those willing to dive into the complexities of the crypto market and make informed, strategic decisions, the rewards could be substantial. However, it requires a level of engagement and research beyond casual speculation, focusing on the technological innovations and market movements that drive value in this digital economy. Paul also emphasizes the importance of not overcomplicating investment strategies. The allure of constant chart monitoring and micromanaging investments detracts from the fundamental truth that in a market as dynamic and promising as crypto, the trajectory is overwhelmingly positive over a longer horizon. This mindset not only simplifies the investment approach but also aligns with the historic pattern of asset appreciation in the crypto sphere. Listen to what Raul Paul has to further say on it. So I discovered this chart back in 2020. Um, and what it is, is the number of active wallets in crypto, crypto.com measure this, versus the, I guess, active IP addresses of the internet. And I always thought, well, this is a network adoption model, the same kind of thing. It's an adoption of a technology. And I wonder what they look like. And I put them over each other. And what we found was that, obviously, because the internet was the rails that already exists, the adoption of a new technology that uses those rails is faster. And it's actually twice the speed of the internet. So if you can get your heads around how big the internet was for all of us, this is happening at twice the speed. It's the it's driven the fastest appreciation asset of all time. The compounded annual returns of, let's say, Bitcoin is about 150% a year, even with 80% drawdowns four times in the middle of it. We've literally never been given an asset like this with an adoption like this. And going forwards, if we just assume that the rate of growth just matches that of the internet from here until the end of 2025, we end up with a billion users. And if we extrapolate that out to 2030, 
we get to 4 billion users. So basically, this is a pervasive technology that's going to take over all of our lives in ways we don't really understand. It's not just going to be about investing in cryptocurrencies. It's just going to be the underlying rails of transaction. Raul Paul's perspective on the trajectory of Bitcoin and the broader crypto market is not just compelling. It's grounded in an analytical approach that compares the adoption curve of cryptocurrencies to that of the internet. This comparison reveals a staggering insight. The rate at which people are embracing cryptocurrencies is twice as fast as the internet's adoption. If the mere thought of the internet's transformative impact on society is overwhelming, imagine a technological revolution unfolding at double that speed. Paul's analysis, leveraging data from Crypto.com on active wallets versus active IP addresses, serves as a backbone for his argument. The heart of Paul's thesis lies in the sheer velocity of crypto adoption, a factor he believes is driving the fastest accumulation of wealth in human history. With an annual compounded return rate of 150% for Bitcoin, despite significant drawdowns, it's clear why he views this as an unparalleled opportunity. This isn't just about the numbers though. It's about the underlying technology and its potential to redefine our financial system. The forecast of reaching a billion users by 2025 and potentially 4 billion by 2030 isn't merely optimistic. It's based on observable trends and the intrinsic network effects of blockchain technology. What sets cryptocurrencies apart, in Paul's view, isn't just their potential for appreciation, but their foundational role in the future of transactions and digital interactions. This perspective shifts the narrative from speculative investment to a broader technological revolution, underpinning the economy of tomorrow. With the crypto market's valuation poised to explode, from its current state to possibly $100 trillion by 2030, the scale of wealth creation and distribution we are about to witness is unprecedented. Paul's advice to investors is refreshingly straightforward. Focus on premier assets and maintain a long-term vision. This approach demystifies the crypto investment landscape, encouraging a strategy that balances prudence with the boldness to seize a generational opportunity. He aptly describes this phase as the banana zone, a term that encapsulates the frenzy of growth and potential the market is currently navigating. The reason we can't is we can't think in exponentials. We just simply can't as humans, right? I mean, every single person I know, except a few, got wrong Google, got wrong Amazon, got wrong Tesla, got wrong um, Apple, all of these things. They're all network adoption models. Everyone got them wrong because we can't understand exponentials where growth compounds. And we're seeing it yet again with AI. This is even faster. And humans just can't extrapolate this rate of change. It's, it's that. Now, what everybody does, and how would you explain, there is a bell curve. And you want to be on the left of the bell curve, which is actually the same as being the Jedi master on the right of the bell curve. Everybody in the middle who overthinks it, it's simple. Number go up. That's the whole crypto thematic that you need to know. You can either do all the deep dive, and I must have done 10,000 hours on this, and you... I might be at the right side of the curve sometimes, but I don't mind being the left either. Just don't overthink it. The moment you overthink it, that's when you get yourself into trouble and you start not seeing it for what it is, you see it for what you want it to be.